today's video we will see some other new concept it is patterns and structure 17 we got in the form and the position of modifiers it's, though it sounds a bit difficult it is not like that I will explain to you what it is see here suppose there is a sentence that is the, this store is new so you can make it in another way by calling it it is a new store this store is new can be said also as it is a new store here new is an adjective store is a noun the the stores are new they are new stores again new is an adjective stores is a noun see the second sentence the store sells books that you can call as it is a bookstore instead of telling the store that sells the books you can simple to be very precise and uh, uh, more uh, accurate we can call it as a bookstore we do not call a bookstore as uh, uh, the store which sells the books that is one way of saying it but to be precise brief in our speech we can use so these modifiers what we are going to see today will be helping us to reduce the length of our sentences and to be brief and precise in our expressions so the store sells books you can say as it is a bookstore the stores sells sell books they are bookstores so here book is a noun store is a noun here new is an adjective so that the modifiers can be as an adjective they can function or they can be nouns also see here some more example it is a class there are two sentences it is a class it is small you can say it as it is a small class it is a class it is small two sentences can be made into one you can call it as it is a small class see it is a watch I carry the watch in my pocket it is a watch I carry the watch in my pocket can be said as it is a pocket watch so the sentence the length of the sentence get reduced you make it into one sentence you become more precise and brief let us see the rules little bit a modifier of a noun can be either an adjective like new small etc or a noun like book shoe etc shoe shop like that it can be either an adjective or a noun such modifiers are placed before the noun we use it before the noun modifiers that precede plural nouns have the same form as those that precede singular nouns for example store singular new store stores again new only so the modifier will not be changing for the singular or the plural it will remain the same you cannot look for uh, what is the plural of this adjective and all it cannot be possible so now see it will come like this a bottle in which milk is kept you call as milk bottle law school a school or college which teaches law so law school a bus that carries students to the school school bus a, a cup in which you take coffee it is a coffee cup a it is a class it is very large you can say it as a large class it is a class in which grammar is taught it is a grammar class these are trees they grow apple they give apple so they are apple trees this bottle is small it is a this is a bottle this is a, it is small it is a bottle it is small you can call as it is a small bottle I will give you some more example you repeat now I will say you slowly I will tell and you have to repeat with me it is a book it is green two sentences it is a book it is green we can say it as it is a green book they are books they are green they are green books it is a book it presents grammar it is a book it presents grammar it is a grammar book it is a watch it is a small it is a small watch 
it's a watch i wear the watch on my wrist it's a watch i wear the watch on my wrist can be said as it's a wrist watch they are pencils they are long they are long pencils it's an egg. it's an egg it's fried it's fried egg it's soup it's hot it's a hot soup it's a spoon it's for soup it's a soup spoon it's a store it's large it's a large store it's a cover it's on a magazine it's a cover it's on a magazine can be said as it's a magazine cover it's a cup it's for coffee it's a coffee cup it's a lamp it's on the desk it's a desk lamp it's a bottle it's for milk it's milk bottle it's a room it's large it's a large room so what is the use of this it makes our sent expressions very precise and brief and accurate that is why the modifiers we use will reduce the length of the sentence we need not uh, use two sentences in a place where one sentence can be used so you can now uh, put more nouns and more adjectives and create your own sentences and practice so that your uh, communication your language also becomes very brief uh, that's what shakespeare says is the brevity is soul of wit what we speak should be brief we should not speak in very very long long complex sentences always communication mainly aims at simplicity and uh, intelligibility that a person should understand what you speak for that your sentences should be shorter and they should be less complex always so practice in whatever is in this video we will see the other video in the next two, uh, next week thank you